What's up YouTube, TechShot87. Today we are doing the review on the Tech Corey holster that was sent to us a couple weeks ago. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank and welcome all the new subscribers that have come to our channel. Um, welcome and I hope you like the content that we produce and uh, continue to produce. And to all of our existing subscribers that have helped build us up and have stuck with us for a while. Um, I talked to y'all quite a bit on, on our channel and um, we just really appreciate that interaction and what y'all have done for us. So when we did the Glock 43, the initial review, uh, we were contacted by a guy named Ted Corey. Uh, he offered to send us a holster for free in return for a completely honest review. Once he said that, I was hooked. Um, that's the way I like to do this. As long as it's on our terms, we can do what we want and, uh, and we can be honest with you guys because y'all are the ones that make us, so we want to be honest with you, then that's the way to do it. I'll take that deal all day long. So we decided to go ahead and get it. So what we've been doing for a week, I wore it straight, 10 hours a day at least, wore it every single day. Then me and Jenny have been alternating between uh, wearing this, I would wear the Hidden Hybrid, just to kind of give you an idea of how this all Kydex shell kind of works. Now this is the first one we've ever tried that's all Kydex and uh, I'm really, really happy with it. So a couple things about the holster. <clears throat> the attention to detail on this thing, this of course is the flat dark earth. It took him two days to get it out. Uh, so very quick turnaround. Um, every little detail that's on the gun, your little takedown uh, pin right there, the indention right here where the slide stop is, your slide serration, squared off trigger guard, everything is in place and you have some nice little touches right there. So I thought that was really neat. Uh, this is a .08 Kydex that he uses and you have the fold over mold injection clips uh, with the you know just basic flathead screws in there. I think they're black, black oxide to prevent them from rusting with your little bushings right in there and then your single retention adjustment screw with your bushing. All right, so very basic. And when I first started looking at these, uh, it had been a while before we got this one and I really didn't know how comfortable this would be. Uh, you look at it and you're like, inside the waistband, maybe not a lot of flex. I, I'm not sure about it. Um, but this definitely has some benefits and we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, at the end of the video, I will show you a picture of what uh, of what Mr. Ted Corey sent us um, as far as all the different models for the inside the waistband that he offers but you have this one the fold over molded injection clip and then you have a double uh, snap system and then a single tuckable snap system uh, they're made right there in Florida and I believe the clips are made by multi holsters so very nice little setup and the biggest thing with this holster is the simplicity and the comfort now we got this at a perfect time it's getting extremely hot um, everywhere you know it's 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 about to be summer and you can feel especially in South Carolina uh, all the humidity so this came at a right time um, it's extremely comfortable and one thing especially with me um, it doesn't take much to get me to start sweating so when I started wearing this, I thought, man, this is actually pretty comfortable. I had to move it around a little bit. This guard uh, comes up and where I typically will wear it at a maybe a five o'clock position, I had to move it up to about almost exactly the three o'clock position because I noticed when I would sit down, this would kind of dig into me. So I moved it around. Jenny moved hers from about a five, four or five o'clock position up to between a two and a three position. But once we found that sweet spot on it, it was actually really comfortable. Uh, the single clip is very comfortable uh, as far as just getting on. Slides right on, don't have to take your belt off. I really like that. Uh, very positive click with the 43 here. That everybody loves, fits really nice and tight and uh, just seems to be a really good setup. All right, so we've been doing a lot of work with the 43 here recently. Actually, we got a big shootout coming, a part two with uh, the LC9S, the Glock 43, and the Shield. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But we've been doing a lot of work for the 43 
But one of the benefits of this holster is that it actually fit the other two guns. Everything safety check, by the way. Here's the LC9S. Really nice snap. Right into place. So this really helped us when we did the review, or the part one, to talk about how they carry inside the waistband and give us an idea of um, all three guns in the same holster to give a more uniformed um, decision, you know, and how they carry. Here's the shield. Not as much of a click, but the trigger guard and everything is covered. So that was pretty nice. Almost like a universal holster. Obviously, it doesn't fit as well because it's not made for that gun, but uh, but really nice nonetheless that it fit all these guns. Um, here in a minute, I'm going to show you how each one of these holsters looks and feels. Um, well, I can't show you how it feels, can I? But I can show you how it looks and uh, show you how the firing grip is really simple to, to, to do quick draws with this holster. The guard comes up just, and, and you can see it, it's like flush with the Glock. I mean, there's no sharp edges. It's just, it's, it's perfect for it. But that little guard right there allows you to get a full firing grip while this still sits low enough to where it's comfortable. So pretty impressive. Like I said, I'll show you that in a minute compared to the other two. Now, when I started alternator, alternating between the hidden hybrid, and which I still love, by the way, and the Tech Cory, I bought this one in winter, so it didn't really matter. I thought, man, this is awesome. This is very comfortable, which it is. But the backing on here, um, I noticed I was sweating a heck of a lot more with this on compared to this. So I started alternator, alternating <laughs> between the two and the difference in the amount I was sweating, at least for me, uh, was big. When I put this on, it seemed to be a lot more comfortable when it comes to that. So really nice there. One other thing about this clip that bugged me and and these are just minor things and you know with any holster that you get with anything you're gonna have little complaints and this is just one of the small complaints I have the clip has this little lip on there and I actually blew a tire the day after I got this so I'm down there on the ground and I noticed that when I'm down there on the ground this was sticking into me so I had to take it off it just was not comfortable so it might be worth it. I was thinking that, you know, if you're into training or whatever and you're doing a lot of drills, you're rolling around, it might be worth it to get the snaps. These are replaceable. You can switch them however you want to get the snaps for whenever you're doing those training days because they're soft and you won't have this, uh, this problem right here. Uh, so just little minor things like that. All right, so like I was saying, this really has its place and with the uh, hot months coming up, um, a holster like this is going to be what I go to. Uh, now, is this the end all say all in Kydex holsters? No, there's plenty of them that we like to try. And I don't think I mentioned this, but this is uh, entry level at 45 bucks. So for $45, anybody that's bought a quality holster will tell you, I mean, that is a good price, okay? Uh, the clips that he sent me, he sent me an inch and a half, which is on the gun now, which is standard, and then inch and three quarter by request. Like I said, he has a custom shop. You can, you know, do skull patterns and change the clips, whatever you want to do. Uh, but inch and a half standard on the clip and just very simplistic. And it keeps your small gun small. And that's what I've noticed. I hate to pick on the A squared, but it's, it's the one I kind of go back to when I'm talking about comfort. The Nate Squared is designed to keep the entire gun off you, right? And that might work for some people, but it just feels like this is there's so much. much material here that it just really it, it's just too much. Too it's much. just too much. So I would much rather have a little bit of the gun touching me like this than to have all this extra material and it's just sitting there and uh, and just getting hot. I, I just I don't like that. I'll show you how that looks here in a minute. So, Ted Corey holster, I think it's worth a shot. You guys go in and checking them out. If you need a holster, you make some for all different kinds of guns, uh, double stacks, compacts. I, for I forgot to mention that the cant is set at 10 degrees 
for uh, subcompacts and 12 degrees for compacts. And of course you can, whenever you're checking out, you can uh, tell them what you want. But I can't speak for any of the bigger guns how this would be, but I can tell you uh, for the 43 and for the Shield and the LC9S for these smaller single stack nines, it is very comfortable once you find the position to wear it at. And I think Jenny would agree. So she liked wearing it as well. So let's go ahead and kick it out right here. I'll show you how it looks and the firing grip I was telling you about. And we'll end the video. All right. So I had the Ted Corey holster on. I got my shirt tucked underneath the holster just so you guys don't see my fat rolls. <laughs> um, but here it is. So you can see it sits low enough to where it's comfortable. It doesn't rise too high. It doesn't sit too low. But automatically when you go to draw the gun, you're, you are ready to fire the gun. Pulls right out. The holster stays behind, which is always a good thing. And when you're ready to reholster, goes right back in. So very nice, very simple, very minimalistic, and very easy to use. So let me show you the hidden hybrid real quick, and then I'll show you the Nate Square Tactical just to give you an idea of where this one fits. All right, so now I have the LC9S on and the hidden hybrid holster. Uh, you can see how much farther back I wear this. It's not a big difference, but if you carry inside the waistband, you know that this can make a big difference. Every little difference makes a difference when you're talking about inside your pants. But anyways, I wear it a little bit further back here. Um, getting a fire grip on this one is a little bit different for me. Um, I can get behind it. But I noticed that it's most of the time easier to just stick my thumb right there where the sights are, the back of the gun, pull it out, get in the fire position. Um, I've always done it like that with this holster. It sits really, really close to you, which is a good thing. But I've always found myself just, just you know, putting my thumb right there, pushing and pulling out. Um, so there you go. You have a lot more material here now. Uh, so, you know, that's one of the advantages like I was talking about. So let me show you the Nate Square just to give you an idea of where that one is. We'll finish out the video. Alright, so here's the Nate Square with the M&P Shield. Uh, it may not look like a big difference, but you have all this material around you. And after a while, it just becomes uncomfortable. As you can see, none of the gun touches you, so you know that, that is a benefit, and I know a lot of people like these, but for me, I'd much rather have this little bit touch me than to have all this material. This has a twist lock system. I'm not doing a big comparison here, but you just kind of twist it out. You get your firing grip, you twist out, pull up, you're ready to go, and then reholster like normal. Uh, the other two, you just pull straight out. So this one, twist, pull, comes up and there you go so let me give you some final thoughts on Ted Corey and uh, show you that uh, picture of the end of what uh, all three of his holsters look like alright so there you go guys I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, the video and review all Kydex uh, holster is very comfortable I like it a lot um, I like the one that Ted Corey sent us I think this is a very nice example and a definitely a nice first example um, like I said, no sharp edges on the thing. It's very, very well made. Um, once we found our position, especially with this guard right here, so where it wouldn't stick us, and um, the little thing on the clip, like I said. But if you don't do any kind of training drills or anything, I see this as a non-issue, and this clip is very strong, and it has a positive snap over my belt. Uh, so... I really like it. Like I said, it's not the end all say all best Kydex holster yet. I don't know because we haven't tried any. I'm, I definitely want to try some more now that we've gotten this one. Uh, but this is a nice example and for 45 bucks, that is pretty good. Uh, so I think the uh, colors, let me think about this, that he actually stocks is uh, pink, OD green, flat dark earth, um, carbon fiber I think is a few bucks extra. Uh, and black and then all the custom stuff if you want to do patterns and skulls and things like that so um, just want to say thank you to Ted Corey for uh, sending us the holster out I uh, really like it all kydex shell all kydex holster is very comfortable 
Uh, I like it a lot. It definitely has its place, especially with the summer months coming up. Like I said, if you sweat a lot or if you want something comfortable, something that keeps your small gun small, definitely check out the Tech Corey Holster. So we appreciate you guys watching and uh, thank you for all you guys are doing for us. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Big shootout coming up. As you can see, the layout's changed a little bit. We have moved, so bear with us. We're trying to get the lighting and everything set up. But we are doing the big shootout here uh, very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you next time. And as always, hold them down.